Hello, it's Diane. I've been having a little bit of trouble having time to be creative for the last couple of weeks. I just squeeze a little bit in here and there and try to get a little something done. It's just been real busy. But I do have a couple videos I'm going to be doing today. This one is just a quick haul video, which was just some old books. Um, <clears throat> my library is um, selling books for a dollar a bag. So I paid a dollar for all of these. So I'll just go through them quickly. First of all, these items were just free giveaways from the library. And these are some cards, large cards, advertising um, some books. Textile Trilogy by Destiny Canal. I don't know how to pronounce it. I've never heard of her. But anyway, I picked up two for a book called Burning Silk and this one called Linen Shroud. I didn't know they were different. I thought I'd just grab three of the same, and I was very happy to see that one of them was different. So maybe I'll have to check out some of those books. This is a calendar, 2017 Authors and Illustrators. I had one from another year, but that's just the index. So oh, I tape the lens cap of my camera to the tripod so it doesn't make that clinky noise all the time. And I just knocked it loose. So, okay, so here's um, this calendar and each month has a different author featured with illustration from his book. And then down here on the calendar page itself, it lists um, authors on their birth dates. So that's fun. And then this one is Us Born Books and More. It's just a catalog of books. And I thought some of these images and pages would be fun in a junk journal. So those were all free. And then this was a little workbook, First Spanish Word Book. And this is an Usborne book, I just realized. It's one of these books from Scholastic. And it's just some cute illustrations and some Spanish words. Maybe I'll learn something from it. Um, if you saw a past video of mine where I did a haul from a flea market, I showed a book like this called Cream Hill and I fell in love with the cover and actually paid seven dollars for the book just so I could use the cover and fortunately someone else fell in love with it too and I got a commission for that book and I made a really nice journal out of it and sold it so you will see that journal on my YouTube also but I found this one and well I already made a book out of this but for a dollar a bag I couldn't leave this behind it is not in quite as nice shape as the one I used previously, but it's still not too bad, and I just love that picture. You know, it's probably because I grew up out in the country in a two-story farmhouse like that, and our barn was back behind our house, but we had a garage and a barn and a shed over here and, and a hill to sled down, which was over on this side, but because we were on a, on a hill, so from here down, it's just downhill. But anyway, maybe that's why I love that image so much. So, and it's also got some really nice pencil drawing type illustrations throughout the book. Now I can't find one, there's one. So I'll be making another book, another journal out of this book. If you're interested, let me know. This was another uh, kid's book, Near Tragedy at the Waterfall, and I just thought those uh, duck illustrations were nice. It's an old book. It's one of those real sturdy ones with the fabric attaching everything together. It's got some interesting illustrations. And it's 1964. Okay, and then I got this one called Button Collecting. Had to have that. Let me see how old this one is. 1939. So the illustrations and photos in here will make interesting pages in junk journals. And then I thought this one was fun. Felt board fun for everyday and holidays. And it's just got some bold illustrations 
the book's coming up. Well, it just came apart. I don't know what I use it for, but I took it. Then this one is a nature diary by Richard Adams. If you've ever heard of him, he wrote the famous book Watership Down um, about rabbits. But this is a nature diary. He did not illustrate it like Edith Holden. Someone else did illustrations. So I will probably read this one and then take it apart, maybe. Maybe I want to keep it if I like it enough. But I thought it would be at least an interesting read. And I picked up a couple of art books. This is Landscape Painting with Markers from 1977. Let me see when this Nature Diary thing was. Nineteen So there are a few color pictures in here. I always think it's strange that art books are done in black and white. You know, art instruction books. But anyway, there are some color pictures. And then this one is Pencil, Pen, and Brush. The Beginning Artist's Library. And it's 1961. So it has sections on drawing animals. The illustrations are so cute. Drawing people. Landscapes. Scenes. And experimenting. And then, here's my favorite. This is the book Shabby Chic by Rachel Ashwell, the original interior designer who came up with the term Shabby Chic. I, she used to have a show on TV that I love to watch. And uh, this was, I think this trend started in the 80s. But I love Shabby Chic. And so these pictures are gorgeous. And I can't wait to include these pictures. Well, it's 1996, so maybe it was in the 1990s that Shabby Chic in decorating was popular. But look at that. I love that. And there are many full-color, full-page illustrations, or photographs, I mean. And I already tore this one out. Um, it's got a chandelier full page, and on this side, wicker lampshades. So these are great for putting in junk journals. Look at that. I'll just let you see some of the pictures. Look at that one. I love this on the back too. The, the book is in pretty bad shape. It's about to come apart, but that's okay because I'm going to take it apart anyway. Beautiful. So, I wanted to really share this book with you, and I will be sharing it also in junk journals, so watch for that. And I'll be right back with a um, flowish journal that I just completed for a swap. Bye.